Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how do you create a very simple HTML page. HTML, as you must be knowing, stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the default language that a client system understands. In a client-server communication, the server has to return the client a compiled HTML page. Once the client receives the HTML page, it renders the HTML onto the user's browser. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to be relying on a simple text editor, which is called as Sublime Text. So here I'm at the URL, sublimetext.com slash three, which is the homepage of, a, of the Sublime Text 3. If you do not already have Sublime Text installed on your computers, click on one of these links here, depending upon the platform that you're using. I already have Sublime Text installed on my machine. Once you install and open Sublime Text, it looks pretty similar to this one. To the right bottom, you should see a text which says plain text. Click on it and change the file to a HTML page. In Sublime Text, all that you have to do in order to get a skeletal structure of the HTML is to type in HTML, hit tab, and that is going to give you a skeleton of an HTML page. In HTML, every detail that goes into it is represented in the form of a tag. There are over 200 tags in both HTML version 4.0 and 5.0. The root tag of the HTML is called as HTML itself. It has two child tags, one which is called as head, and the other which is called as a body. The elements or the details that go into the head part are the ones which the user will not see on his user interface or the browser except for the title tag here. In the head tag, we generally put all the loading of the scripts or the CSS files. In the body tag here, we put the content that the user will actually see on his browser. So let us go ahead and create a very simple heading by using the H1 tag. And let's say uh, uh, we'll add some text called, this is our first heading. Every tag that is open needs to be closed. In order to close a tag, the only difference between the opening tag and the closing tag is a forward slash. So let me save the file by calling it as heading.html. So once I have saved the file, I can go into the file system and click on the file to open it upon the browser. So here is the file system where I created the file called as heading.html. The default browser in my computer is Chrome. It could be different in your system. All that you have to do in order to open this HTML file is to double click on the pay file that you want to open and that should pull up the HTML file onto the browser. This is the tag that we have added. Now, let's go back to the sublime text and try to add a title to this page. I'll call this as learning HTML and let's save the file. Now, let's go back to our browser and refresh the page. So you should see a title which is represented on the tab here which says learning HTML. So as I said, except the sublime, uh, except the title tag here, the content that goes into the head part is not visible to the user. Let us explore some of the frequently used tags. The most frequently used tags are the ones which are related to headings. The one that we have used here is called as H1, which has higher importance. The range of heading tags is from H1 through H6. As the number increases, the importance of the heading decreases. Now, I want to add a H6 tag to my web page. So as soon as I type in H6, my sublime is suggesting for a tag. So let me go ahead and hit enter. So that is going to complete the H6 opening and the closing tags. So I would say this is a low priority heading. Let me save the file, go back to my browser 
and refresh the page now you can see that the height and the width of the h6 tag is way less than the one that is compared to the h1 tag so for a better viewing let me zoom into the web page so that so that it is easy for us to compare between the results of an h1 and a h6 let us go back to our sublime text and try to explore further tags let us say you want to add a list of items to your web page there are two options to do so one is called as an unordered list which does not display any numbers corresponding to the list items in order to add an unordered list the tag that has to be used is called as ul which stands for unordered list in order to add items to this unordered list we use another tag which is called as li or list item so let me add a list called as a uh, list item called as item 1 let me add a couple of them item 3 let me save the file and let's go to the browser and refresh the page and see that the ul is displayed properly as i said the items are not bound to a specific numbering because the list that we have created here is an unordered list on the other hand the other type of list that we can use is called as an ordered list the tag is called as ol which stands for ordered list similar to unordered list in order to add items to the ordered list we use a tag which is called as li or list item so let's add a couple of items here call as list 1 item 1 item 2 and item 3 let me go ahead and save the file go to my browser and refresh the page now you can see that every item here is associated with the corresponding number you may want to change the design that is associated with these number uh, with these list items or you might want to change the bullets that are attached to these items or even the unordered list you could do that by adding a attribute to my ol tag or the ordered list tag or the unordered list tag these bullets here we can provide additional information to the unordered list tag by attaching a attribute to the unordered list tag the attribute is nothing but a key value pair which is used to add some further details to the default implementation of the tag so here let's say i want to modify the way the bullets are displayed from discs to let's say a square i could do so by using the attribute called as style now as soon as i type in style you can see that my sublime is suggesting that it's an attribute so let me quickly enter the attribute value as list style type by giving it a value of let's say i want to display a square so i would give the value as a square let me save the page and go back to my browser refresh the view and now you can see that we have a square displayed here we can do the similar thing for the ordered list tag as well by using an attribute called as type so by default it is displaying the values as 1 to 1 3 i want to modify the values to be displayed as alphabets that to a capital alphabets so let's say i'll give the value as a in capitals let me save the file go back to my browser and refresh the page and you can see that the values are now changed to abc instead of the default 1 to thanks for watching this video in the next video we will be discussing about an introduction to css